Bear Island is located in the Bay of Ice south of the frozen shore and north of Deepwood. The island is cold, damp, and remote, but also beautiful. It is full of old gnarled oaks, tall pines, flowering thorn bushes, gray stones with moss, and icy creeks running down steep hillsides. Due to being so far north, the island experiences terrible winters. Bear Island is now sworn to the north, but it wasn't always that way. The island has been under numerous rulers throughout the years, and has been subject to many battles and raids. First settled by the First Men, the island primarily has been in the middle of a tug-of-war contest between the Ironborn and Starks, with occasional wildling raids from the frozen shore. The first family to rule there was House Woodfoot. It is unknown when the wildlings began raiding from the frozen shore, but it could have began at this time. Eventually, the Ironborn would set their eyes on the island and begin their conquest. Kord the First Whore, one of the greatest kings of the Iron Islands, expanded Ironborn rule along the Sunset Sea from the Arbor to Bear Island. Kord and his men would strike Bear Island in unexpected places, taking the people unaware and were able to strike and leap before any response could be formed. The people of Bear Island's fishing and trading boats couldn't stop the Ironborn's longships. When the Ironborn came to the shore to fight, many mighty kings and warriors died before the Reavers. People died in such numbers, not just on Bear Island, but the western coast in general, that there began rumors that Ironborn were demons, risen from some type of watery hell, protected by magic, and possessed by foul black weapons that drank the very souls of those they killed. The worst attacks came when the autumn came to a close. The Ironborn would raid the island and western shore for food, stealing from the men who had planted, tended, and harvested the crops. The farmers and their family typically starved but the Ironborn would feast. But the Ironborn didn't stop at crops and food. They also took captives. These captives would be forced to serve as thralls or servants, doing work on the Iron Islands the Ironborn considered beneath them. They would also take women to become cooks, seamstresses, weavers, midwives, serving girls, whores, wives to other thralls, or salt wives. To signify his rule of Bear Island, Lord Whore added a single pine tree into his house sigil. Through these raids and fights, the people of Bear Island began to fear ironborn longboats from the south. A good quote about this from the books, An ironborn woman, Asha, makes a remark about a female warrior from Bear Island. The she-bear responds, What we are is what you made us. On Bear Island, every child learns to fear krakens rising from the sea. These attacks were even more frustrating due to the islanders' lifestyle. Besides a few crofters, most residents on the island lived along the coast and would fish. When the ironborn or wildlings attacked, the men would be away fishing, leaving their homes to be defended by their women. This caused the women of the island to have to learn to defend themselves and their children. There is a carving on Bear Island that depicts a woman in bearskin, one arm holding a child and the other holding a battle axe. The women from Bear Island we've met in the books really like that picture. Fortunately for Bear Island, Korra's descendants would gradually lose Bear Island and his other conquests. But around the time the Andals invaded, another whore decided to take Bear Island and the West Coast back. Led by Harrog Hor, King of the Iron Islands, Greatwick, Oldwick, Pike, and Orkmont descended on the north. During these attacks, Harrog's son, Ravos the Raper, took Bear Island for his reaving base. However, this time Theon Stark, the Hungry Wolf, would quickly come to Bear Island's rescue. He would slay Herrick's son, Ravos, send the Ironborn running, and return the island to Stark rule. Unfortunately, Herrick's grandson, Eric the Eagle, under the old kraken, Laron Greyjoy, would retake Bear Island. However, King Roderick Stark would reclaim Bear Island shortly after that. If you believe the stories, King Roderick won Bear Island from the Ironborn in a wrestling match. This is believable because the kings of the Iron Islands often felt the need to prove their prowess and demonstrate feats of strength. However, some Easters believe the rustling was actually just with words. After winning Bear Island, King Roderick then gave it to House Mormont to rule. And decades after Bear Island was secure under Stark leadership, the wars between the North and Ironborn would become less decisive, with the Starks managing to keep Bear Island mostly secure. Bear Island would still be subject to wildling and Ironborn raids from time to time, but they never lost their island again. Modern Bear Island, as described by Jorah Mormont, is still a cold, damp place. His house castle is a long haul, and there are no mummer shows, balls, or fairs on the island. It's common for seasons to pass without a singer ever coming to the island. There are also no goldsmiths on Bear Island, and their meals are said to be plain roasts and stews. Jorah basically describes the island as being rich in bears and trees, but poor in everything else. Bear Island is still under House Mormont, and currently controlled by Jorah Mormont's aunt, Meg Mormont, and the warrior woman culture is still very strong on the island. 
In modern Westeros, House Mormont and Bear Island supported Robb Stark, declaring him the King of Winter. When Stannis asks for Bear Island's loyalty, they respond that they know no king but the King of the North, whose name is Stark. However, Alysanne Mormont, the heir of House Mormont after her sister's death, does join Stannis' army. North videos will resume in November. October is all Halloweenish related videos, dark theories, creepy lines, psychos of Westeros, etc. If that isn't your jam, it's only for a month and then we go back to the North. December will most likely be The Watch, The Wall, and Beyond. See my channel update for more information.